Now, if we have two samples, what does the population mean of y bar? Let's go back to the warbler example. We're going to note the population mean mu sub y bar, and that's going to equal the sum of all the possible values times the probabilities. So again, remember looking at our table, we have zero times, uh, that's 0.36, plus zero times 0 0.12, plus, and I'm getting lazy, so I'm going to write dot, 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 a lot of other values to sum, the last one being four times 0 0.09. So we're going to take all those values and uh, multiply them and sum them up together. And so when we do that, uh, mu sub y is going to equal 1.3. That should seem very similar to the last exercise we did. The mean is the same. So now we're going to look at the variance of y bar. So here we can denote this sigma squared sub y bar. And that's going to be the same thing. Each of the values minus the mean, 1.3, squared, and then again multiplied by the probabilities, in this case, 0 0.36, plus 0 0.5 minus 1.3, squared times 0 0.12 plus, and then again, dot, 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 lots of things in between here, plus 4 minus 1.3 squared times 0 0.09. And so in this case, sigma squared sub y bar it's going to equal 1.6050. Now that's uh, important, but here we want to ev eventually calculate uh, what we'll call the standard error or the standard deviation of y bar. And so we know that uh, sigma squared sub y bar is equal to the variance divided by how many samples we have. And so the variance uh, from our previous calculation was 3.2098. And we know that we have two samples. And so that's going to equal 1.6050. So just what we found in the previous statement. So now what's the standard deviation of y bar? Well, we can denote, denote that sigma, sigma sub y bar, or the square root of 1.6050, and that would equal 1.2669, and that would equal what we call the standard error. And so this is a key calculation now, because we've got some samples in terms of n, and we already know what the variance is, we calculate the standard error by taking the variance divided by n, or sigma squared divided by n to find the standard error. Notice that our standard error is lower than our standard deviation that we calculated earlier.